video, we are, I'm going to explain about greedy technique. This greedy technique is an another algorithm design technique, just like brute force, divide and conquer, decrease and conquer, dynamic programming, transform and conquer. So this is also another algorithmic design technique. Okay, now this greedy technique is used to obtain Op obtain optimal solution. So this technique is used to obtain what? Optimal solution. So in my previous video, that is in part 26, I explained about what is my optimal solution and also about feasible solution. Okay. So now this grid technique is used to obtain what? Optimal solution. What do you mean by optimal solution? Optimal solution is just a feasible solution. So, out of all the feasible solution, whichever the feasible solution is satisfying the objective of the problem, that feasible solution will call it as an optimal solution. Okay, for such type of problems, we are applying grid technique. So, one second. So, assume we are having some input, okay. Input 1, input 2, input 3, input 4, like this. So there are some n number of inputs are there. Input 1, input 2, input 3, input 4, layer input n number of inputs are there. Out of that, I need to, we need to select what? Few of them. Suppose for example, I need to select input 2, input 3, suppose in between some, some inputs. So this input only I need to select out of many inputs. For such type of problems, we are applying greedy technique. Okay, one second I will summarize. Greedy technique is applied to the problems in which we are having many inputs. Out of many inputs, we are selecting few of them. At that time, we are using greedy technique. So why the name is called greedy? What is the meaning of greedy? Always wants more. That means we are not happy what we are having. Always we are look for more. That means a dil mange more. That means always we are looking for more. Okay, that means here in terms of algorithms, this technique always in, wants to improvise the quality or the performance of the algorithm. So hence the name called the greedy. Okay, so now we know what is greedy technique, for what type of problems we need to apply greedy technique. Now we will see how this greedy technique is going to solve the problem. That means general plan, general plan of greedy technique. So this greedy technique solves the problem in stage by stage. Okay. So, so first step is what? This greedy technique solves the problem in stage by stage. R also will call what? Step by step. Step by step by considering only one input at a time. Okay. So stage by stage by considering only one input at a time. That means, I told for what type of problems this grid technique is applied, the problem which is having multiple inputs. When multiple inputs are there, it is select. So that means it's solved stage by stage by taking only one input at a time. That means first step, it will take one input. Second step, it will take only again one more input. Third step, one more input. Like that at every stage, it will take only one, one, one input. So like that, it keeps selecting. Now, each step, it is taking one input in such a way that we should get feasible solution. Suppose by selecting the input, if I'm not getting the feasible solution, then we are not selecting. See, we need to select the input only when by selecting the input if it is giving the feasible solution. Suppose I am selecting but I will not get the feasible solution then we are not selecting that input. So we are selecting the input only when it is giving the feasible solution otherwise we are not selecting. So like this what we are doing. So first assume the first what we are doing first I am selecting only one input this only. Okay there are many inputs are there one input is selected. Next time what? To this input, I will add one more input. So one input, so another input I will add. So now this is the problem set. Now earlier this is only one problem set. This is a two problem, a problem set of two. So similarly next, I will include, so third input. Now this is my problem set. Like that every time we are increasing the problem set because what? First step, I will select one input. Next step, I am selecting one more input. Third step, I am selecting one more input. Like that, every time I am selecting one more input. That's why 
we are enhancing the input size that means we are increasing the input size that is what the third step so every time what we are doing we are enhancing increasing okay enlarging okay extending the input size okay that's the next step so next so we act like that whenever we are including what one input we are getting a what feasible that's the Pfizer for Pfizer feasible solution no whenever we are selecting one input so that means we are constructing partially feasible solution okay that's what the next step every time when I include one one input each time we are constructing one partial feasible solution so that means every time we are generating on partial feasible solution whenever we are including the input so like this we need to construct all possible feasible solutions out of all possible feasible solution we need to select one feasible solution as an optimal solution so this is the general plan or general method or in general how a problem can be solved by applying greedy technique in general okay. hope you people understood thanks so if you have any comments please write it in the comments if you have any questions please write it in the comments thanks for watching